All right, Shalom. Start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakudash. Double honor to the elder apostles at Great Millstone and the elders at Great Millstone who are great examples who feed the flock and rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the house of David the elect, those that will receive salvation during the coming destruction. Shalom unto you. Um, as you see with the image here, uh, just uh, something that a gift the Most High gave me, um, I like to jot down uh, dreams that the Most High gave me. Now, this one was given to me years ago, and uh, I never considered uh, until as of late to uh, interpret these in a video and, and, and give my testimony upon these dreams. But uh, this one right here is, is nearly uh, self-explanatory. Well, maybe it's not, but this is just here to show you that um, there will be a time like you've never seen before in this generation. This generation hasn't been through anything on such a serious note to where uh, you will feel like your life is in danger. But this, when this goes down in this generation, this will be the worst events that will take place, the worst time ever to take place in all history of mankind upon the earth. Overseeding uh, 70 AD, overseeding the times of Noah, when, when the Most High flooded the whole earth but saved eight people in a ship full of, uh, or, or better yet, an ark full of animals. You know? This will be greater than all those other events that you've ever heard about. You will see some amazing things in this time coming. Now, this dream that I had here, because this is an instant gratification generation, meaning you, you, tap, you tap a button and you get whatever you want. You press the button, the microwave heats your food up and it's done. You pull up to a drive through you hand them your money, they hand you back food within five minutes. It's instant. There's no long time uh, uh, process anymore. Everything has been has been uh, made for your convenience in this generation, but that will prove detrimental to you to you peons out there, you people that aren't spiritually ready for what's about to happen, particularly here in America, because this place has made you a consumer uh, people. It is a consumer nation. You guys are spoiled here in America. As bad as things are, you don't feel it because there's still cable TV, internet, and McDonald's you can drive up to. There's still food. But there's going to come a time, as in this, this uh, image here, where you're going to line up to get food. That has actually already started. In Vegas, I see them. And, um, and I'm sure in other cities all over the country, there are food banks that you have to go to to make ends meet. You know? You have to go to these just to make ends meet. Now, you'll have food stamps already, EBT. You'll have that, and it ain't enough. You'll have a job, and it ain't enough. That's what's going on for you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans here in, uh, in America in particular. In other countries, you just starve. But there will be a famine that's coming. You you look in the book of uh, Second Edris, the 15th chapter, it tells you about a famine and, and, and a sedition of men. Sedition meaning uh, 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 an, an, an invading one another. Sedition meaning um, a tension between each other, fighting between one another, uprising between one another because of lack of bread. Because there will be no bread to feed you people. You people don't even realize bread is a luxury. You're lucky to have meat and vegetables, but you guys only want bread. You guys only want meat. Gotta have cheese. Well, you go back to the, like the, the time of the Great Depression, when 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 the uh, there was a uh, a, a dearth or or, or a, um, a dust storm, and, and the famine was in the land was because they couldn't grow any crops. Well, that similar event is coming here to America. It's already begun. From the chemtrails and, and everything else that's killing 
uh, off the, the pollinating bee population, which that is the is, is the beginning of the ecosystem as far as uh, fertilizing the, the the plants and fertilizing the animal uh, the the um, how do I say it? Basically, pollinating all the vegetation on the planet. It starts with the bees. You know? And that's already been... Bees are falling out the sky. You can find dead bees in, in, in great number in this day and age. You know? But you guys are going to lose your mind when you go to your grocery store, your local Walmarts, your local uh, Ralphs, Vons, whatever, you know, uh, uh, market baskets, depending on where, Piggly Wigglies, wherever you at, Star Markets, wherever you go, and then there's no food in there. Then you're going to be thinking like these preppers were right. But this isn't a video to tell you to prep. This is a video to tell you if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you better have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You better have his wisdom sewn up within your body, sewn up within your, your spirit, within your mind. Because if you don't, you're not going to eat in that day. Those preppers are saving food for the elect of the Most High God, because the government is going is going to uh, come up against you people. You know, the government is going to come up against you people. They won't care if you had a good job or if you were rich or or if you were broke as a joke. They're not going to care. They're just going to all uh, hoard you all up onto these buses and ship you right on trains and everything else with shackles and everything else and ship you right onto the FEMA camp. And anybody that they deem uh, not worthy of, 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 of being a productive citizen, they're going to just kill you. They, they got the guillotines to do it and they got the, um, the FEMA coffins where they can put two and three uh, bodies into one coffin. They didn't, they're not stocking that stuff up for no reason. But until that day comes, you're going to have to line the hell up, man. You go back to that movie, um, uh, the original Red Dawn, with uh, Patrick Swayze, Charlie Sheen, and so on and so forth. And uh, C. Thomas Howell, I think, was in it. There's a bunch of uh, uh, 80s actors in it. And, 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 and what they have to do, they barely escaped to the mountains to flee that persecution. Well, they, they made in the movie, it was about the uh, Cubans and the Russians, right? Well, in reality, it's not going to be them. It's going to be your own government that allows it to happen to you. It's going to be your own government. But they had to line up inside those gates, those fences, just like in all these other movies, whether you're quarantined off, if you're sickly, whether you're a, a, a rogue entity, you and your gangs, or whatever. But they're not going to tolerate your BS, and you're going to have to line up to, to, to attempt to, to grab food. Well, if you look in this image here, uh, the sign here up in the corner over here, the reason that that's there is because you that they deem harmless, that's not going to uh, cause an uprising within the system of uh, uh, the FEMA camp or wherever you're at. You're going to have to line up to get the chip. And like I said, like like in uh, Revelation the 13th chapter, it won't matter if you're small or great, rich or poor, free or bond. Meaning, everybody can, is going to get it. Unless you're of the elect and willing to die not to get it. And really, the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua has to be on you for you to, to, to truly hold on and not get it. There's no other way around this thing. There will be no uh, uh, avenue left unturned uh, for this for this devil in this time. He knows he had but a short time pursuing the Revelation of the 12th chapter, so he's going to bring out all his toys. He's going to bring out all the stops. He's going to make sure that he that he fully exhausted his, his blessing to the fullest extreme. 
the problem with him is he don't know that his that his blessings over. His time, the dominion on the earth for him is now over, and he has to give it up to the Israelites. But instead of him giving it up and going quietly, he's gonna fight to the end, even to the time that that when the chariots show up in the sky and they're having the battle of Armageddon uh, in the heavens. All these nations in World War III that'll be fighting against each other, they're gonna turn and try to fight against the Lord. Because they're gonna realize that, that that's their rulership being uh, uh, being taken from them. And the Most High does want them to fight, and yet there's fight. Well, you people need to get yourselves together, man. Because even though these food banks will hold you down for now, Eventually, you're going to have to have that chip to get food. You're going to have to to, uh, to bend over backwards and fight and, and, and scavenge. They're, they're going to make the system so tight that you won't be able to earn a living wage without that chip. They're taking hustling out the game with that chip because you can't transfer money once the chip is fully implemented. What you gonna do? Have somebody go in the store and buy you something on their chip? On their chip? What you gonna pay in exchange for that? You know, Big Brother, as they as they say in the system, Big Brother, which is uh, the, the, all these cameras, the all-seeing eyes, so to speak. Esau, so-called white man, the goddamn devil, upon the earth. He's watching everything, and this chip is part of his control. So he can control everything. So prepare to line up, because it will not be full. I mean, the famine of the word is coming. Yeah, we understand that. But you people don't, that's not what moves you people. What moves you people is feeding your goddamn bellies. America's one of the most obese countries in the world. America is so decadent, they waste over 40% of its food here in America. 40%. And we still have the fattest nation wasting 40%. Unbelievable. Yeah, most of it is GMO. But that's unbelievable. So to eat, just understand, to eat, you're going to have to... Uh, to take that chip. You're going to have to line up and take that chip. Whether it's a soup kitchen, whether it's a food bank, whether it's the grocery store, whether you're inside of a FEMA camp, you're going to have to line up and have that chip. Unless the spirit of the Most High God, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, is upon you. The Hebrew Israelites, the, the men that really got this truth and sincerity is out there. They're out on the corners teaching in the rain in the sleep, in the snow, in the heat. Try to, try to warn you thoroughly for the Most High God and earn their salvation so you can have an opportunity to get the information that'll help you earn your salvation. So there won't be no excuse when you get, uh, when you get destroyed. When a FEMA troop comes upon you, and, 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 and hits you on your goddamn teeth with the uh, with the butt of his gun, and, and, and aims a barrel at, at your face, and say, "Get in that FEMA truck and go down and get that chip or die." Ain't gonna be no, uh, I'm the hardest nigga alive. I'm about to, ain't gonna be none of that. I'm a former MMA fighter. Ain't gonna be none of that. None of that's gonna protect you in that day. Even the great martial artist Bruce Lee said, "Yeah, if there's a gun." fight's over <laughs> cause all it takes is bang and you're dead you know there will be no help for you in that day if you don't have the spirit of your how about you if you don't have a name uh, which is a strong tower to run into in that day you're done so with that, I'm going to close out, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakah Kodash, devil unto elder apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect, the house of David. Shalom.